them and the might of the Holy Ghost. And we say, Father, we exercise our dominion. And we say, Lord, what we do not allow will never happen. It is only what we permit. It is only what we allow. It is only what we say yes to that is acceptable, that is allowed to happen in our lives. In our home, in our church, in our nation, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whatsoever we bind on this side, it is bound in heaven. And whatsoever we lose on this side, it is loosed in heaven. Father, God Almighty, every works of the enemy, every activity of the witchcraft. And they say no, we bind all the activities, we put them all together, and we release the judgment of God, written upon them this morning, in the name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we claim that which rightfully belong to us, and this month of dominion, in this month of dominion, we will rejoice, we will be celebrated, we will be Father, men will gather to celebrate us, there will be congratulations, back to back congratulations in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for our city, we are moving on with the might of the Holy Ghost, we are moving on with the speed of the Holy Ghost, we are unstoppable, we cannot be limited, we cannot be stopped in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, it's a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning, we receive from you. Oh, Father, we thank you, we thank you. We bless your name. Receive all the glory this morning, Father. For all you have done for us, all you are doing, and all you will yet do. Father, we thank you for a glorious month. Indeed, this month, as we take our place of dominion, testimonies will abound in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you back all the glory. We give you back all the honor. We give you back all adoration. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and the earth are joined. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen, amen. Worship God, blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor. Power and might be unto the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to the month of dominion. We can take out a minute or two and call others who peradventure may still be sleeping or who are forgotten or who did not get the notice on time. But the Lord gave us an instruction to pray this month. Not just to pray, but to exercise dominion. When we are, we are true with the prayer, we will stand facing the four corners of the earth. And we will speak into the four corners of the earth. We will speak into the four corners of the earth as the Lord has commanded us. And I pray for you this morning, in the name of Jesus, that as you exercise dominion, this month of dominion, the fourth month where the Lord has ordained, it will appear in all of your situation. The Lord told me this morning, beloved, he said he is the fourth man in the fire. This month, it will help you. He said, this month, it will help us. This month, it will be there for us. That this month, it will not leave us nor forsake us. He told us that this month is the one who would secure our release from every manipulation of darkness. 
and I welcome you to your month of dominion, and I dare to say your month of deliverance. I dare to say your month of deliverance. We are going to pray. It is not the world. Pastor B had already given the scripture for the world. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. If somebody is there, please open the Bible there. And if you are also on Ezekiel 37 verse 4, I would appreciate I would appreciate it if somebody reads it out for me. Kabio Osio. Verse 26 to 28. Sarah, take it to 27 and 28. 28, okay. Verse 27. Okay, verse 27. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Verse 28. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Bring over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. All the animals. Amen. God has given us authority to dominate. He has given us authority to be on top. He has given us power to dominate. And I don't know, but I heard him say, this is our month of dominion. As Christians, we must have dominion. As children of God, we must have dominion. As fathers, as mothers, we must dominate our first. And as seasoned men and women of God, we must have dominion. Hear me, child of God. To dominate is to be in charge. To dominate is to be on top. To dominate is to decide the affairs of things, the trend of things. To dominate is to be the first to have knowledge. The first to have knowledge. To dominate is to be the ruler. The one who makes fervent decisions. And I make a decree tonight, this morning, that as you enter into the realm of dominion, the Almighty God will bring every prayer, everything you say, it will become possible. It will be law in the name of Jesus. Kings dominate over their territory, and whatever they decree becomes law. So you and I, are going to take dominion over the territory of the month of April, over the territory of the cities we live in, over the territory of the life that God has called us to enjoy. We are going to take dominion because he said he will help us, that he will help us. He will not only help us, but he will give us dominion. And I pray that you and I will dominate according to God has said. Now, for you to be able to dominate, you have to be fruitful. You cannot be dry. You cannot be barren. You cannot be fruitless. And then you say, I am dominating. You say you, can, you cannot. You have to be fruitful. It is your level of fruitfulness that determines your level of dominion. You cannot say you are a poor man, and yet when they call family meeting, you want to be the one to tell them what to do. It does not work, especially in our setting here in Nigeria. It doesn't work. If you are a very rich man, automatically they will make you the chairman of the meeting. 
without your action. That is fruitfulness in dominion. Another thing is that you cannot be fruitful and not multiply. You cannot be fruitful and not replenish. You cannot be fruitful and not subdue. You cannot be fruitful and not have dominion. And when the Bible talks about dominating, having dominion over the fish, over the fowls of the hair, hear me, whether the physical fowls or the spiritual fowls, the ones who have decided to take their board with birds, the ones who have decided to wear on demonic feathers, to fly to territories, God is saying that he has given you dominion over the fowls of the air. There are serious secrets to exercising dominion on earth. A lot of us run out of scatter at the first and slightest encounter with witches. But if only you know this part of this scripture and you walk righteously with the Lord, because listen to me, beloved, you cannot be said to be dominating and yet you are living in sin. You cannot have dominion and then you are walking in your own way. It is our master, our Lord Jesus Christ who gives dominion. And righteousness is his name. Holiness is his watchword. So for you to exercise complete dominion and have victory, the flesh has to die. And when the flesh is dead to sin, then power automatically comes. So be love of God. Just two scriptures that the Lord gave us this morning that is meant for a short exaltation. This month of April will be good for you and I. This month of April will bring fruitfulness to us. This month of April we will subdue, we will overcome. This month of April we will attain the height that God has for us. This month of April we will multiply on all fairs of life. But hear me. God also promised us that this month of April, it will be the fourth man in the fire. So meaning that if there is any fire that will occur, God has already gone ahead of you. So dominion comes with living righteous. Hear me? As I was saying concerning the birds of the head, I said if a lot of us have the revelation of the scripture in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, then we will know that first we were created in God's image. And then we will know that secondly, we are little gods. Whether male or female, we are created in his image. After his likeness. And so we carry the authority that God carries. We carry the dominion that God carries. We carry the anointing that God carries. More importantly, you and I carry the presence of God. And I pray for you that you will go into the atmosphere of dominion with the presence of God this very month in the name of Jesus. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. It will be good to hear an amen sometimes. Amen. Praise the Lord. So like I was saying, if you know and hear, if you know and hear the secret of this scripture, child of God, if you know and hear the script, the secret of this scripture, Genesis 1, 28, have dominion over the beds of the air. If any witches and wizard come, you will just tell them, go and sit down. My father has given me dominion over the beds of the air. You that went to take your place, you went to take your abode with the beds of the air. You have made yourself like the beds of the air. So in the name of Jesus, I exercise dominion over you. I exercise dominion over you. I exercise dominion over you. I exercise dominion over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. 
For in Jesus' name we pray. Kala gadu shalabaze. Le grende ye de bosu kataba. Ke le grende ye kete yi bala katu salagada. De le gende re kete ye bo. So you have dominion. When you have dominion over the beds of the, the, the hair, you have dominion over witches and wizards. When you have dominion over the fish of the sea, you also have dominion over marine spirits. When I was, I had a remnant of this scripture, it occurred to me that the fishes in the sea will not struggle with you. So why do we need dominion over them? Oh, alas, the beds of the air will not struggle with man. Because why do we have dominion over them? Then it occurred to me that some people had turned themselves into fishes, while some had turned themselves into birds. And they were going to pose trouble and pretend to be demigods in the life of some individuals. But if you have the authority that Christ Jesus is giving you this morning, you will know how to exercise it, and you will know that witches and wizards, marine spirits representing the fishes in the hair, they will not have dominion over you. And Bible says, over every living thing that moveth upon the surface of the earth. I congratulate you this morning, because your dominion is perfect. Your dominion is complete, as long as it's of God. The, Bible, the Lord also referred me to Ezekiel 37, in verse 4, when he said, unto me prophesy upon the bones and say unto them O ye dry bones hear the word of the lord thus hear the lord unto the bones behold i will cause bread to enter into you and ye shall live i will lay swinings upon you and ye shall bring up flesh upon you and cover your skin the lord will cover your secret hear me that person that is listening to me the lord will cover your skin he will cover your secrets he will put bread on you and it shall cause you to leave. And then Ezekiel said he prophesied as he was commanded, and the bone came together. But and the swinging also came together, and the flesh covered them. In verse 9, God told him to do a particular thing. And that is the exercise, spiritual exercise, that you and I are going to do today. He said, Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus hear the Lord, come from the four winds, O breath, breathe upon the slain, that they may live. Beloved, I want you right now to get up on your feet and face, the, if you face not, now you will prophesy. That is the instruction for the moons. If you face south, you will prophesy. That is the instruction for the moons. Whatever area you face, face the four corners of the earth and begin to prophesy. Take up your Bible in your hand, drop your phone, leave the volume out, and go to verse 9 of Ezekiel 37 and say, Lord, the spiritual exercise of this month is to take dominion. According to Genesis, 20, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, and as I take dominion, I come back to Ezekiel 37, verse 9, and I begin to prophesy. I prophesy the breath of life. I prophesy the breath of life. And I command the four winds from the four corners of the head to bring and breath life into every aspect of my life that has been slain. Now, face, get up on your feet. It's a prophetic instruction. You can face the north. You can face the south anywhere you face, but just make sure you go around the corners, the four corners. Say, O oh, ye winds, from the four corners of the earth, as I face this corner, I prophesy that let fresh break from above, wind of refreshment, Wind of dominion, wind of glory, wind of life, breathe upon my slains and bring life to that aspect of my life in the name of Jesus. Face the other aspect and say, oh ye breaths from the four corners of the head, 
breathe upon this aspect of my life that is suffocating, that is not giving me life, that is not giving me pleasure, that is make, not making me happy. As I face the east, I command the bread from the east to locate my slain. As I face the south, I command the bread from the south to locate my slain. As I face the west, I command the bread from the west to locate my slain. As I face the east, the south, the north, I command the bread from the, 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 the four corners of the earth to locate my slain. In the name of Jesus, everything that is not working in my life, let the bread from the four corners of the earth locate it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been redundant, whatever has failed, whatever has, is not exercising dominion, whatever is not giving God glory, whatever has been slow, Oh, Lord, my God, as I face the four corners of the head, let the breath of life, let it come. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. If you have done that exercise, begin to speak in tongue. Begin to, begin to speak in tongue. And begin to call to speak in tongue. Begin to call upon the Lord. Begin to tell him thank you, because the breath of life, has located the four corners of your head. The breath of life has located the four corners of your head. The breath of life has located the four corners of your head. The breath of life has located the four corners of your head. And I decree and declare, Kilaga du sakata yadaba, legedegedendre debo, yela braga du sata yadaba, sikete yekele grende yedebo. Akanda yadaba sukata yadaba yele grande yedebo. I receive dominion. I exercise dominion. I receive dominion. I exercise dominion. I receive dominion. I exercise dominion over the beds of the hair, over the beds of the hair, over the fishes in the sea, over every living thing. Yika sakanda yadabazu. No more will I be under. No more will I be under. No more will I be under. I receive power to begin afresh. 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 Begin to tell the Lord. I receive power to begin afresh. I am a child of dominion. I dominate on all fairs. And I receive power to begin afresh. I have taken authority from Genesis 1:28, and I am exercising authority through Ezekiel chapter 4 verse chapter 37 verse 9. And that victory is permanent through the blood of Jesus. This new month, dominion is my portion. This new month, my redemption is set. This new month, I receive a new beginning. Oh Lord, plant good things in my life in this new moon. Oh Lord, I'll put evil things from my life in this new moon. Oh Shakata Yibala Gadaba Seka Lagadu. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Kelegedu celebro kotusha. Yende yedebo. I cancel every conscious negative agreement with the wickedness and in the name of Jesus. Any agreement that will not allow me to have dominion. I cancel you this morning in the name of Jesus. Lord, make me your battlers. Make me your battlers in the name of Jesus. Let every spiritual weakness in my life, let it receive termination now. In the name of Jesus, let every financial failure receive termination now. This new month, I shall have dominion financially. I shall have dominion physically. I shall have dominion spiritually. I shall have dominion matrimonially. I shall have dominion internationally. I shall have dominion on all fairs of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, every sickness in my life, hear me, you are terminated today. In the name of Jesus, you cannot go into go with me to the new moon because God is my helper. Every architect of problem in my life receive termination in the name of Jesus. You that is sponsoring evil problems into my life, 
Today marks your hand. I take your power and I bring you under subjection in the name of Jesus. I subdue you because the Lord Almighty has given me power over you. He says I exercise dominion over every living creature. So hear me, your witchcraft spells consigning me will no longer prosper. Your authority consigning me has failed. Kasoro koshilagadabaze ilebrondo yedebozo kete yedebo sukata yadaba yinda yadaba thank you ancient of days thank you king of glory let every accident of problem in my life let them be terminated now i paralyze every spiritual woes working against my life in the name of jesus let that which hinders me from greatness let it begin to give way in the name of jesus whatever has been injuring me from being great i command you give way in this new month because dominion is my portion in the name of jesus give way in the name of jesus i paralyze every spiritual wolves in my life every dogs every wolves every birds evil birds i paralyze you you can no longer have power over me let that which hinders me from greatness let it begin to give way anything that stop me from making it in life i command you give way give way give way let every imprisoned and buried potential let it begin to comfort all my glory that has been buried in the grave comfort all my wealth that have been imprisoned in the marine kingdom comfort all my goodness every potential in me that the enemy has imprisoned or buried in the name of jesus i command them to be assumed right now and i begin to manifest them in jesus name father i thank you because this month you are my helper i take dominion over unfriendly helpers in the name of jesus i command every unfriendly helpers to depart from my life in the mighty name of jesus on from my life Unfriendly helpers, depart from my life. 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 Unfriendly helpers, begin to say it. Sing it. Depart from my life. Unfriendly helpers, depart from my life. Unfriendly helpers, depart from my life. Unfriendly helpers. The Lord says I should tell somebody to tell somebody, do not be discouraged. Tell somebody to tell somebody, do not be discouraged. Elijah prayed. He prayed three years, there was no rain. And he had to pray again, and rain came. So I should tell that person that this is your season Tell the person, the person may not even be here, he may be here. Do not give up. This is your season of rain. It's your season of rain. Bible says, if thou faint in the days of the adversity, thy strength is small. Begin to tell the Lord, increase my strength for this new journey. This fourth month will work for me. Increase my strength for this new journey. The miraculous will locate me. Increase my strength for this new journey. It's a new journey. You have not gone the way of April 2021 before in your life. It's a new journey. So tell the Lord this month, Lord, increase my strength for the new journey. Pray because we have just very limited time to go. Increase my strength for the new journey. Oh Lord, let unfriendly helpers get out of my life in the name of Jesus. Every negative transaction that is currently affecting my life negatively, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Say it, say I cancel it in Jesus' name. Pray out loud, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Do not sleep, make your way straight, make your path straight. The beginning of this month, take authority. Say let every negative transaction that is currently affecting my life, let it be cancelled. I command all dark works done against my life in the secrets to be exposed and let them be nullified in the name of Jesus. I lose myself from the evil spirit. I lose myself from any evil spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, if my life is on the wrong course, this month correct it. Correct it. Correct it. Open your mouth and talk. Correct it. In the name of Jesus, let every anti-progress altar fashioned against my life be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every anti-progress altar 
fashioned against my life, let it be destroyed. Every anti-progress altar fashioned against my life, let it be destroyed. I command my destiny to change for the best. I command my destiny to dominate and to change for the best. In the name of Jesus, let my hand become a sword of fire. Let it cut down every demonic tree in my life. In the name of Jesus, let my hand become a sword of fire. Every demonic, unprofitable, and unprogressive tree in my life. I cut you off, I cut you down. I cut you off and I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, every satanic boasting over my destiny, let it be terminated. In the name of Jesus, every power that is delegated against me, I command you to be silenced permanently in Jesus' name. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressors. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressor. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressor. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressors. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressor. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressor. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressor. I withdraw all my benefits from the hands of the oppressor. Every of my imprisoned glory, my imprisoned goodness, locate me now in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my benefit from the hands of the oppressors. Hey, pray that prayer tonight. Let all unprofitable marks in my life be raised up in the name of Jesus. Let every power chasing away my blessing be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Let every good thing eating up my enemies, eating, eating up by my enemies, let them be vomited now. Every good thing that my enemies have eaten, vomit it now, vomit it now. Vomit it now. Let the anointing for spiritual breakthrough, let it fall upon me. The anointing for financial breakthrough, let it fall upon me. I have dominion. I have dominion. I have dominion. Open your mouth and say it. I have dominion. I have dominion. I have dominion. Sit down. I have dominion. 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 Open your mouth and say it. I have dominion. I have dominion. Anointing for spiritual breakthrough. Fall upon me in Jesus' name. Anointing for financial breakthrough. Fall upon me in Jesus' name. Father, make me a prayer habit from today. Let me pray every day of this April. And let me see result at every prayer I pray. Let the anointing for spiritual financial breakthrough. Let it fall upon me. Oh Lord, ignite my prayer life. This month, you are my helper. Let me not be slack in the things of the Spirit. Oh Lord, empower my prayer altar in the name of Jesus. If you are not praying, you are cheating yourself. Open your mouth and talk to God. The best you can do is to repeat after me. Pray, pray so that dominion can come. That we are bringing this prayer to a close exactly six o'clock. Kelegen de Yerebo. Oh Lord, give me divine dominion. Oh Lord, give me power to overcome every obstacle to my breakthrough. Oh Lord, help me, oh God. Every form of spiritual contamination in my life, let it be taken away in the name of Jesus. Empower my prayer altar. Empower my prayer altar. This month I make progress. Give me divine prescriptions to my problems. In the name of Jesus, I break all causes of leaking blessings in my life. This month it will not leak. This month I shall not get a lose. This month nearly there will not come to me. This month I shall be on top. This month I shall break forth on all sides. This month I will be helped. I will be helped. The fourth man in the fire will help me. This month it is well with me. I will be at the right place at the right time. This month my doors will open to the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. The four corners of the world, goodness and mercy will locate me from there. In the name of Jesus, I disarm every household enemy that is after my life, after my destiny. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Let my enemies pitch their tent against one another in the name of Jesus. Just like it happened in the battle, of second chronicles chapter 20 verse 2 uh, uh, for the whole of 20 when my enemies the enemies of Jehoshaphat, they pitched their tent against each other they killed themselves and they started killing the third enemy father let that miracle happen in my life 
this month of April, this month of dominion, this month of the fourth man in the fire, this month of the four winds from the four corners of the earth, in the mighty name of Jesus. I disarm my household enemy in the name of Jesus. I frustrate and I disappoint every instrument of my enemies fashioned against me in this month of April. I seal my victory with the blood. I seal my victory with the blood. And I, Lord, I begin to thank you for answer prayer. I thank you for answering my prayer. I thank you for answering my prayer. I thank you for giving me dominion. I thank you for giving me access. I thank you for giving me glory. I thank you for giving me power. Even as I, Lord, I dominate. Lord, I am on top. Lord, I am victorious. Power to begin afresh. Power to be on top. Power to, to excel has come upon me in the name of Jesus. This month, my enemies begin to vomit every good thing that they have eaten up against me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, King of glory, because anti progress spirits have been destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Kabiya Osi, you are the God of heaven and the earth. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now, I want, I want you to open, open your own mouth and pray your own prayer for the next two minutes. And then we random. Kabia Osio. Pray, pray, pray all the prayers you have been hearing me pray. Sickness is far from me this month. Open your mouth and pray. Luck is far from me this month.